Lenzvid's coverage of IBC 2023 is brought to you by Ulanzi Video Accessories, Small Rig, Small Rig, Big Dreams, Jiyun, Make It Real, and Godox, Embrace Creative Possibilities. We are here at IBC 2023 and we're at the Small Rig booth again with David. Hello, David. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And uh, we have some more new products from uh, Small Rig, so talk to us about them. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the new products that just came out uh, is going to be the new Small Rig VB99 Pro. So it's an updated version of the previous V-mount battery, you know, very popular V-mount battery that came in 50, 100, 150 watt variants. So this is the 100 watt variant. And uh, similar to the previous version, um, you know, it, you're going to be using it to use it as, as either a V-mount battery or you can use it for all of the various different output ports. So you've got yourself everything from your, uh, your you know, your barrel plugs to your USB-Cs or USB, uh, USB-A outputs. You charge it through the USB-C and then you can output through any of these ports. They're all power delivery and one of the nice things on the VB99 Pros is that they can all concurrently deliver max output. Um, and of course on the side you'll also find the DTAP output as well. So it's a perfect battery for rigging your cameras and powering everything from your camera to your monitor to your follow focus. Um, and to your lights. This can output um... a yeah, max of 14 amps through the DTAP and through uh, the V-mount and then the, the other ports themselves will have various different limits. Yeah. Um, one of the other updates, so you know a few different updates from the previous model. One of them is going to be the fact that it, it has a new housing. So now it ha uses an aluminum housing which is going to be a lot more durable and rugged as compared to the previous plastic composite housing. Yeah. Um, so you know for batteries that you use uh, on your rigs, on sets, you throw them around in your bags, they're gonna get beat up. And so one nice thing is these are gonna hold up a lot better. Um, another nice thing as you'll see here is that the front display got a little bit of an update. It now uses a uh, full color uh, uh, display here. And it's gonna just be you know easier to see uh, your power status, how much battery is left. And when you have different uh, cables plugged in when you're powering multiple different devices it'll also show a breakdown of which ports are currently in use and how much power draw is being pulled through which is good because you'll also get to monitor and make sure that you're not over delivering or overcharging you know different devices. Uh, with this you had I think like 50, 150 and the 99 Correct. right? Correct yes. So maybe in the future you will also have... You maybe know, in the future can't promise yeah, anything. Can't promise <laughs> anything. So uh, do you have availability and pricing on this? Yes so it's available now and uh, pricing is under 300 USD under, uh, uh, and around under 300 uh, euro as well. Okay, and uh, this one will still be manufactured, right? The, Correct, the older yes. version. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a little bit less uh, expensive than Correct. this one. Yes. Not, not a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so these are the v new V-mount, or this is the new V-mount battery. And this is a product that you didn't announce here, but you, it's relatively new. The, it's a new line, right, of uh, batteries for all sorts of uh, uses. Correct. So you all, you have your L-mount, maybe you will tell us a little bit about it. These are your standard uh, camera batteries for your you know, most up-to-date flagship, uh, Canon, Sony's, Fuji's, Nikon's, uh, for example, the MPFZ100 for like your A7S3s or your A7 IV's. Um, so the difference here is gonna be, it's what you would expect out of a camera battery, it's high capacity um, and uh, the nice and it's reliable but the nice thing is it also features a USB-C port that allows you to use uh, power delivery to fast charge these batteries on the go so what nice thing is if you're on the go you don't have a traditional battery charger a dedicated battery charger if you just have a bunch of these you can always charge them all up with a USB-C cable even if you're on the go using you know a power bank or you know even like if you wanted to use a, a small rig a v-mount battery to charge them up it just makes them a little bit more versatile this one here is the 970 the largest variant that uh, that is made and of course, on the front, you have a LED indicator to quickly check what the battery status and, uh, is on that battery. Um, but one no other nice thing is, on the other batteries we talked about, USB-C port. You can charge this battery via power delivery USB-C, but it also does two-way charging. You can also po power things and charge things with this USB-C port. <laughs> it works as an NPF battery, also as a uh, power bank if you need it to be. Yeah, that's that's very cool. And, and it has, I think, I like the color because it's it's distinctive because sometimes when you have a lot of these batteries like lying around mm -hmm. and you have several photographers, these will stick out more than the black batteries that you usually have. So I, I agree. Yes. I, I, I like it. Uh, do you have, I mean, pricing on this uh, probably yeah, so varies depending on what you have specifically, but 
I don't know, do, do you remember the pricing for the large so one? So I, I don't have the exact pricing off the top of my head, but however, all of these batteries are currently available on the Small Rig website or at your preferred retailer. And of course, the like you said, the prices vary, so I would check you know, either the Small Rig website or your, uh, your preferred retailer to see the prices on this. Okay. Thank you very much, David. And uh, for all of you, don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos from IBC on Lensved. See you next time.